Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at thickening lines on line art in Photoshop. A couple of things before we start. If you want to make your lines thinner, I've got a video on that and a different method also of making them thicker that you may want to view if this process is not working the way you want it to. I'll link that in the description below. The second thing is that this is going to work a whole lot better if you've cleaned up your line art before you actually start thickening up the lines. Because if you've got stray dots on your line art, then they're going to be thicker in the process. So again, I've got a video showing you how to quickly and easily clean up your line art. And again, that's linked in the description below. And a very special thank you to Roger Birds, whose comments on my other video inspired this particular solution. So assuming that you've isolated your line art as I have in this image here, I've got four copies of my mouse. We're going to use one as a reference and then we're going to thicken the other three using a different setting for each. We're using the same tool, just a different setting. So let's start with this first mouse. I'm going to control click on the thumbnail here. That would be command click on a Mac. I'll go to edit and then stroke. I'm going to set a seven pixel stroke. The color is black and we're testing inside first of all. The blending mode and the opacity are going to be the same for absolutely all of these. So I'll click OK. So this line art has now been thickened up. In fact, it's just really been darkened. Let's go and see the next option again, selecting this shape. We're going to use center this time, but again, the same seven pixel width. This time the line art is much, much thicker. And let's finally go to the last of the three options. We're going to do this to the outside. So you can see the comparison now. The best result is probably this one here. It gives you a little bit more control. The lines are blacker. Outside is really just adding some extra thickness to the outside. And if your lines aren't pure black to start off with, that's going to show. There are some limits to this first one, and I'm going to show you that. We're going back to that. I'm going to control click on it. Let's choose edit and stroke. And this was the inside option. So even if I wind up the stroke width to 50 pixels and click OK, you'll see that it's had no change to this line weight at all. So if you use the inside option, basically all you're going to get is a sort of darkening of the original line art. Center is probably going to give you the best results as you're actually expanding the lines here. Outside is a little bit flawed. Let's go back to center and let's have a look at what happens if we use a different value. So again, with that selected edit stroke, I'm going to add 20 pixels this time, choose center and click OK. And you can see that it is thickening up the line art. It's doing a better job probably than the outside, although that is obviously total overkill. So let's just wind that back. So I hope that that's helped you understand how you can thicken the lines on your line art using Photoshop. And as I said, there's a different method and it's linked in the video below. And that one also works for thinning the lines. So if you've got something with really thick lines, you want to thin them, then I have a video that shows a totally different process for doing just that. Now, if you're interested in additional Photoshop training, I have hundreds of classes over at Skillshare. I have a coupon for you in the description below, which includes an offer at least as good as the current Skillshare offer. And often mine is even better. If you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 200 of mine. Please feel free to share these coupons with family and friends. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned things about Photoshop of which you were previously unaware. If you did, please give this a thumbs up click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.